welcome to the print. Uh, my name is Amna Begum. So this week I have written an article that stop seeing population control measure as anti-Muslim and uh, uh, basically family planning also benefit uh, Muslims community, Muslim community as well. So first of all, I would uh, like to talk about why I have chosen to write articles about family planning and uh, the narrative uh, around it which is mostly get painted as anti, being anti-Muslim and as anti-marginalized community. So uh, Assam's, uh, Assam has launched this uh, financial initiate, initiative for rural women entrepreneur. So they can choose from the range of 145 uh, business plan and uh, the government uh, will provide them financial help for starting those businesses. However, there is a uh, certain conditions and the condition is that uh, you cannot have a more than two child uh, the allowance limit of the allowance is a little more for the SCST community they could have a uh, four child um, and still be able to access this uh, uh, scheme so this scheme has initiated again a debate around the family planning and control uh, population control schemes so i see two kind of argument one's coming from this uh, intellectuals uh, intellectuals group who thinks that it is a kind of infringement upon the uh, freedom of uh, reproduction so a citizen should have a uh, total freedom that how many children they want to produce and government should not interfere in that by any means. So this is not direct coercion, but it's a hidden coercion because you are incentivized the uh, uh, incentivize the certain uh, certain choices or uh, or you uh, decentivize or kind of penalize them to have a more, more children. However, the same intellectual then in future will criticize the government for the unemployment rate for not providing enough welfare scheme to the poor people and uh, when we talk in the in in the context of india we are not applying policy uh, coercion policy forceful policy like china where you cannot have any other option you can still choose to have more than two children we the state is only uh, trying to incentivize certain habits so you choose the right thing for yourself and state has responsibility towards entire society to promote certain kind of values that's why we see that state can uh, state continuously uh, push the progressive and liberal values within the society state continuously push those ideas which can be beneficial for the uh, for the families and in turn for the nation and the family planning initiative is not something new it was started after the uh, freedom of a nation in 1952 and india was the first country to uh, produce something uh, uh, something regarding family planning on uh, on this big uh, level so uh, if and this, uh, statistic wise if we only go by the displacement rate of the population still india will not suffer any kind of population decline nation till 2050 and when that time come we can uh, make we can change our policy regarding the need of the hour the second and the most important uh, point i wanted to to focus on or discuss was uh, was about this policy of family planning being anti-Muslim. I do not understand how any policy which is good and for betterment of Hindu community is anti-Muslim. What is the reason behind it? The most I can, uh, the most uh, rational, not even rational, the argument about or detail I hear about it being anti-Muslim is that that Muslim uh, values, the, the their cultural values, their religious values in is not in inclination of certain of this policy of family planning. I mean, you can see a lot of such a policies which you might argue that is not in incline is not inclined with this Hindu family Hindu. Uh, Hindu are basically religion or Hindu values. However, state 
does promote or bring those values and find a way to promote those values and and how a community can adopt the, those values because it is in the end for betterment of their society so why the intellectual who see and promote those progressive values especially the hindu intellectual they want their community to be progressive they want to their community to adopt those uh, those uh, values those uh, mindset do not want Muslim to adopt the same mindset or same values. I do not understand as a Muslim. Growing up, it was very perplexing for me that which the things which are good for the Hindu community, why they are not good for us. The thing which is doing, uh, which is which is kind of welfare for the Hindu community, why the same thing is marginalizing us. So that does not make sense to me. And I think this is because their uh, desire to be seen as the Messiah of the Muslim community, they do, to, they go to the extent that they end up doing harm to the Muslim community rather than doing anything good. So family, seeing family planning, seeing the policies like UCC as an anti-Muslim, is uh, doesn't hold any uh, water basically because all you are doing you're just chanting that this is anti-muslim this is anti-muslim why and how you're not able to explain it and the only explanation is that their cultural values let me tell you one thing if a cultural values is to promote discrimination against the women you will not let it happen just uh, because it's your cultural values if someone will argue that our cultural value is the sati what would you do that you will say that, oh, okay, because it's your cultural value, we are not going to uh, talk about it. We are not going to bring awareness around it. We are not going to discuss that this is anti-human, this is anti-women. So that's my point. Uh, for more detail, please go and read my article. Thank you.